violin was invented over 500 years ago in Italy by lute maker Andrea Amati, and today is one of the most popular instruments for children to learn. A single violin body is made up of over 70 separate components and it's vital that they fit together precisely to create the right sound. The sound of a violin is created when the hairs of the bow move across the strings, like this, or when you pluck the string. As the strings begin to vibrate, the air directly surrounding them is compressed and a sound wave begins to start. This is the bridge. It may look like it's just for structural support, but it's actually very important for the sound because it transmits vibrations from the strings to the upper surface of the violin. The body of the violin acts a bit like an amplifier. As the strings vibrate, the air inside the body also vibrates and makes the sound audible. The tension of the strings is very important for producing the right pitch. Violinists use these tuning pegs here and here to tighten and loosen the strings. A tighter string will vibrate more quickly, resulting in a sound of a higher pitch. The strings also have different thicknesses, so the thickest one on this side produces the lowest pitch, and the thinnest one on this side produces the highest pitch. The frequency of the vibrations can also be changed by stopping the string and changing its length. You can create different sounds called harmonics by lightly stopping the string at certain intervals along its length. The mathematical ratio of these intervals was first discovered by Pythagoras. Here's what it sounds like. The idea is that you keep the string at virtually the same tension, but you make it shorter, resulting in a high-pitched sound. A vibrating string doesn't just produce one single frequency, it's actually simultaneously vibrating at several different frequencies, which produces the timbre of the instrument. That's what makes a violin sound different to a piano or a trumpet. 